Hi, everybody. Well, I have got the most amazing experience happening to me because we're cooking live and we're doing a Zoom live. I've just banged the bell. I've got Caroline in front of me, who is the winner of my cook along with my burger cook along. So, congratulations, Caroline. Thank you. Thank you, Bobby. Put it on TV, but I thought Nancy. And I'm going to come to the and I have my wife here as well, who will be telling me. I, I, all need, the I need to, to remind. I'm reminding. I'm um, so Donna Ida is here with me, and we also have Louise. Where is Louise? I'm here. Hi, there Louise. How are you? You're are you you're in deepest Devon. Yes. And I, well, it sounds very very lovely. I'm not quite sure how the weather's been through the summer, but it sounds really really gorgeous. So cheers, Louise. Thank you so much cheers. for joining us as well. Thank you. Okay. And um, and I also got have I got I've got another fan. I've got your your children, um, Christian? Caroline. Christian, oh, fan. Is that right? Big fan of yours. A very oh. big fan. He'll he'll come and say hello in a minute. I've okay. sent you a few messages over the lockdown where he cooked your sausage roll oh. and he did oh, your um, yeah. your yeah. Uh, French toast as well. Oh, amazing. <laughs> So he thinks you are just the bee's knees. He's well, well, he's, well, he has great right. taste. He has great <laughs> taste, right. of course. Quite right. So, um, so here we are today. We're doing this. I'm doing this for a very special um, cancer uh, uh, charity, which is uh, a charity that uh, I am passionate about, as, as I probably you saw my little message. It's the Oracle Cancer Trust. Um, and without going into all of my issues, three years ago I had tongue cancer, and so uh, it's amazing one to be here, uh, which is a good thing, and and two to uh, do all I can to help research into head and neck cancer. Uh, it's very uh, underfunded. It's not the big cancer that everyone knows, but it's one of the hardest and most horrible as you can imagine because it affects. Everything that I'm doing, taste and um, smell. and smell and my saliva. And sometimes, uh, Caroline, you won't know this, but when I'm talking, well, you won't know it because I stop, but I just dry up, which is now the other thing as well, which is why I drink champagne. And people <laughs> think it's very polite of you to drink champagne. Every time. It's all I can drink, believe it or not. Uh, and water. Well, I can drink water. Yes, I can drink water. <laughs> and I can drink Guinness, um, but I can't drink wine and I can't drink spirits. I had a little bit of rosé when I was away, but I put lots of ice cubes in it, so that's okay. Yeah. So the champagne is all I can drink. So cheers to the girls. Cheers, well, everybody. Cheers. And cheers. thank you, somebody up there, for looking after me Good. and Absolutely. just giving me champagne to drink. Cheers. That's very I, I, I believe not only I, I, am I cooking up for Louise and Caroline, but there's obviously other people out there on the YouTube channel. So I think the very first thing we ought to do is go through what we're actually doing and the ingredients that we've got. So I've done a bit of mise en place because I've gone a bit chefy, so I've got a few things ready. Um, but we're doing my burger. Donna Ida, many years ago, uh, uh, created a name called Bobby Dazzler, which is actually a pair of her jeans. Uh, my name's Robert, but anyway, we've created a name for Bobby Dazzle. So everything's become Dazzle, Dazzle Town and Dazzle Everything. And this is a Dazzle Burger. Um, and so uh, the burger is, very simply, we need a meat. Well, we're doing, um, uh, we have the beautiful minced beef that we have from our farm shop up the road. So you've got your mince, I presume, there? We have. Okay, yep. and I've just put them in two hundred, two one hundred and thirty 130 gram um, um, uh, amounts really and we'll come back to those in a minute so i've got those there um what you then need to put in a burger of course is some buns so i presume that you've got your buns everyone these are these are brioche these are actually brioche buns we've got uh it doesn't have to be brioche, I don't have to go brioche. but these are oh brioche god. i'm just gonna smell them since i'm not eating anything like this <laughs> oh my god right. so these are brioche delicious. and um I've got four there, but we're only going, I'm doing two burgers. Um, the one next, for pardon, one for, well, one, for, one for me and two for me, yeah. because you can't. <laughs> so the, ne the next thing you need to go within that is what we're going to cook. So we're going to cook 
I've got this lovely big uh, white onion, which again, I got from the farm shop. Uh, and I've peeled it and I'm sort of ready to just um, slice a piece. Now, it hasn't got to be too, too thick, but we want to just, when we put it on our griddle, which we're going to do over here, you want to just get it enough so you're going to caramelize it a dash. And that will give you amazing flavor in your burger. So how thick do you want it to be? About a centimeter? Well, I'll do that in a minute. Yeah, yeah. Come, yeah, I'll come back to that. Bit. And then I've got a beefsteak tomato. Because what we want to do is layer it in the same way. So we want to try and get the, the real burger is to try and get the burger, the tomato, and the onion slice the same size. That's... <laughs> but don't oh. worry. Don't worry if it's not the same size. Uh, Louise's Louise's wife, she's just, she's killing her onion. She's <laughs> killing her onion. She's like, I'm behind. I need to peel that onion. I've got some gorgeous um, back bacon, which is uh, I've got some smoked back bacon, but you don't have to smoke. But you can have green back bacon, all kinds of back bacon. I've got this gorgeous one. And I've taken the rind off, so um, and we're going to put two slices on each. So we've now got our bun we're going to put our tomato up the key my this is my tomato chutney i made this we did a tomato chutney on the highlight now louise did you make that i did well, oh, that amazing, amazing. now look what donna did she even put our label on it i mean i know, I know, I know. that's the next <laughs> thing louise you get Caroline, you're going to have to get the next thing you do is you'll have to start getting your own labels. That's the next step. That's the next step. And then Donna puts a little, a little Donna's check at top, a little check at top on it. And then, I mean, it's just, <laughs> that's the one. That's the one. Uh, and then one other thing that we did. Excuse me. Okay, we just got like yeah, blank screen. Eduardo will just come and fill the screen for a minute. Oh, mayonnaise. So another thing which is really a little bit flash, and I have to say to you, this was not necessary to plan. We just come back from Greece, and uh, I went to find the mayonnaise, just ordinary Helmut's mayonnaise. We didn't have any, so we made some mayonnaise. Ooh. I know, I know, it's getting slightly. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to make the mayonnaise. So, but it is very, very nice. So we made some mayonnaise in our wonderful thermomix, funny enough. So, I think. Oh, and then the only other bit we've got is I. If you saw the way I did those burgers, we put. I take some off the web lettuce. We put like a. a a top on so you like a little hat on again you haven't got to do that but it just adds it just makes it look a little bit fun but you get a bit of as opposed to just layering it all in all falls apart so hopefully it will stay where it is all right and if you, if you, shred, if you shred the lettuce all falls out and if you shred the lettuce it all falls out because uh, you shred. so you want a nice piece of, so the idea is to try and keep it together i'm not really a necessarily a big fan of pinning it and stabbing it and with all these cocktails so we're going to try, hopefully, and this, this burger will stay together as we go forward. So first of all, before we go any further, does that sound all right with you girls? Does everything yep. sound okay? Sounds Lu wonderful. And there's Louisa. some very hungry people in the background as well. Okay. All right, so Caroline's cooking. You're cooking for the family, are you? I'm cooking for four, yes. Oh, my God. Okay, is, Louise, right. is Louise doing for one as well, like Bobby does that? What are you doing, no, Louise? Aunt and uncle here. They're in the lounge. Oh, fabulous. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, okay. So everything's okay, Louise. You look like you're working frantically away. I, I know. It. There's me. I'm just going to top up my um, glass. Yeah. <laughs> while yeah. Louise is doing lots of work. Well, <laughs> we'll, have a quick, we'll have a quick slurp while everyone else is probably just getting a few things ready. Very important. What, what champagne are you drinking? Uh, today, um, Billicart. Oh, I love it. Uh, the Billicart, um, not, not the pink, but uh, no, no, still no. good. Oh, what have you got? Nightingale, Lou. Nightingale. Oh, nice. Very nice. Wonderful. I'm so. What have you got, Dazzler? So I, well, I've I've got Fréjean Frey, which is one I've been oh. drinking all the way through. It's called Fréjean Frey. It's an amazing company, and it and my my taste buds are so odd that um, when I tasted it, it was the most incredible taste. So champagne in in my mouth while we'll go quickly back on that bit there while everyone gets themselves ready it's sort of i said it's like an explosion it it, it just mm -hmm. it just excites and uh sort of gets all my saliva glands all fired up uh, and it becomes really a nice experience it's not that it would be a bit like drinking white wine and toothpaste <laughs> not not drinking yeah. toothpaste but after you've had toothpaste it's a weird sensation but for me it's a nice sensation anyway so I hope we were all there. 
Louise, how's it all going your end? It's, it's, <laughs> you, as I'm trying to make my letters. <laughs> That's fine. I picked no. my letters from the garden. Oh. Oh. Actually, Caroline, your pieces are perfect. They're the perfect size. They're really good. Because they're, they're too, a bit too big for them. They'll well, we can trim them up in a yeah. second. But yours are perfect size. Just uh, like a nice little frilly one. <laughs> <Yeah, she's going. laughs> when are you going to... Are you okay, going well, just, you what I'm going to do is just is just wait until... Yeah, and then we'll you put... You need to season those as well. I'm going to, darling. I'm going to, darling. Just so we're going to put that over there. I'm like, I, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing all the reminders. I just don't want to okay. race ahead. I want to make sure everyone's with me. Okay. Okay, so, so um, you're drinking out of, we've all got different glasses drinking our champagne. So you've got the lovely old fashioned style, you've got the flute. Yeah. And I, when I was at home in Australia in January, um, my friend who's doing his smelly apples turned around and said, drink it out of a big glass. Mm. Uh, yes. So yeah. you're, uh, Louise, you're absolutely right. Um, Frey Jean Frey, when I, when I um, speak to them and when we meet, and you will have seen me drink champagne out of a wine glass because I've done 105 videos. I have to move the glasses around a bit. Um, <laughs> and um, we have, I have drank, and for my 100th uh, video, which was that wonderful Beef Wellington, yeah. I had the biggest glass I could find, and it was just amazing. <laughs> so you can drink champagne out of a wine glass. Absolutely, why not? Drink it out of whatever you want. I've just gone slightly sort of saucerish. Well, I just thought I'd do it for my mate. <laughs> Absolutely. So are you are you Australian, Louise? I'm Australian in the sense I have citizenship over there. So I'm an Australian right. yeah, citizen. I have a you know I have an Aussie wifey here. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, yeah, you might have got that. Okay, fine. Okay. So are we all, are we ready to sort of kick off? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is, I think we just want to prepare our tomato, get our slices ready. So it's, it's your classic mise en place. So you don't want to start doing things until you're really, really ready. So I'm going to do two burgers, because there's just myself and Donna here. And um, I want to cut two really nice pieces of onion. And I think if one can see about that size there, what do you reckon, Donna, about there? I reckon it's going to be about that thick. Actually, can you pass my glasses, darling? Okay. There you go. Right, so I think it's about that. That's what I think. And I might do, I might do, I'm going to do two more, believe it or not. So I might take the center ones and leave I that. I think the center ones, yeah. I think the two center ones, yeah. Because they're the biggest ones. Lovely. So there are my, I'm going to use those two. I'll keep those. We won't waste anything. We always save for right there. So there are my two there. So that's that thick. What is that? In, 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 in millimeters, I don't know, but in half probably half an inch or so. Half a centimeter? Half an inch. Okay. Are we all done? Yeah. So yeah. the next thing is I've got, I'm taking the base off that beef steak tomato but it's got a bit of core in, so I'm just gonna take a little sliver off, because I don't want that piece in there. And now I want two pieces, but I don't want them quite as thick as the onion. So I want them about that thick. That sounds, it feels about right. That feels about right. That one there feels about right. So there are my two slices of, so I'm gonna put Mm -hmm. Dead air, then, does one? Dead air. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. sorry. I'm going to wander around. Wandering around. I was wandering over there. Okay. <laughs> well, if there was a TV camera, they'd follow me, of course. So now I've got that ready. I've got that ready. I've got my keys here, and I've got Monterey Jacks here. So I'm going to get two slices of each because we want four slices of cheese. You should tell the girls the cheese you normally like to get. Well, I like the orange one. I like the I like the real sort of cheapy plasticky one. Now I know that sounds really terrible. But you can but only get that from the farm shop. Yeah. yeah, we get it from the farm shop. The farm shop didn't have any. Um, so it's actually not so bad. So I'm gonna do four slices. Oh, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
you're not feeling so sick right now, are you? Right, so I've got four slices of cheese. I'm going to put two on each burger. Cheese. And then I've got on here, on this plate here, I've got four slices. I've got two lots of bacon, but I've got four slices already done there. So I'm super happy now. I've got all that done. So now that's all my bits and pieces. Now it's time to make our burgers, which is really as simple as really good beef will make, will make you really good burgers. And they will be super, super tasty. Let's get a here. So, am I, I'm not going too fast. No. Lovely. No. Your beef. What what weight? <laughs> How's burger? it going? Then? So, so for your for your burgers, what weight do you do for each burger? So I did these at 130 grams. Okay. Each each one, and I'm going to put them on here. I'm going to I'm going to put seasoning around here now, and I'm going to put them into their little packets, into the little burger packets. Okay. What, what weight have you got there, Caroline? Much as you need. <laughs> I've got I've got about a kilo of, of beef mince here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, look, so do, you can see that. do 130 grams. If you can do 130 okay. grams, that's what I'm doing. 120 grams, 130 grams is fine. Okay. Yeah. And, and you're just I, doing I them straight ask... into a patty without without putting anything in with the pepper. So what we're going to do is I'm going to if you make them if you are you going to do four? I am. Yeah. Okay, so if you get four ready in little balls, yeah, and then we'll then we'll make them together. Okay. And it really is all we're really going to be doing is just seasoning. Okay. Because we've got we don't want you know you could say well you could start putting Worcester sauce in and all kinds of things but you've got tomato chutney we've got mayonnaise we've got seasoning we've got we've got loads of other flavours going into this at the moment. And you want to be able to taste like a really nice, good quality beef patty. Like that's, it's just yeah. so nice. If you just season it, really brings out the flavor. It's the best way for sure. Perfect. Says the woman starving to death. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, I bought you... Petronella's book because I watched you and Petronella, like one of the first ones you did. And yeah. then I gave it to Louise. Louise. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using it to, um, there you go. Have you, have, Yes, ah. there you go, darling. Have you have you done the sixteen days? God, no, I haven't done anything. anything. I can't stop this. <laughs> well, I so what I'm going to do, just a matter of interest, is I've got really Donna and I while we're away, we talked a lot about uh, this the the plan, if if you if you like, as opposed to a diet, because everyone gets oh god, diet, diet, diet. Yeah. So. The one thing that there isn't a replacement for is the alcohol. There isn't, there isn't one of those. But what I really, I've been talking to, I've been looking at it today funny enough about how we can really make some exciting dishes on Petronella Plan. And there wow. are some amazing dishes we can do together. Um, and, I, and I'm really excited about with smoked fish, so smoked salmon and poached eggs and lettuce and all of the different things that we can do together to make things really exciting. And I think there'd be... I think we're going to come up with some interesting recipes each week. But no alcohol. That would be fantastic. Yeah. No what alcohol. Mean? No alcohol in the beginning. Know. You have to have a little. <laughs> you have to have a little break. It's only sixteen days for that. No alcohol. Oh, I've done it before. I did it for five months once. Wow. Um, because a friend offered me money for charity if I stopped yes. for a month. Yeah. And then I did it, and then she said, "I'll do another thousand if you do another month," and I'll do it. And she kept doing it. And I thought, God, it's for charity. I'm, I'm gonna do it. Um, you did, but you now, did it. It was, it was five months. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, five months is a long time. It's too long, but it was for charity. Did you, did you? In the end, did you say like charity starts at home? Like I just can't go on. In the end, it was your Somebody, day. somebody bought me a bottle of um, Puluni Montrachet, <laughs> and I went. Had to have it. <laughs> I mean, if, I mean, you know, you, you, you like your wines, you, you love your, I mean, the Montrachet would be, it's wonderful. I, I, I can't even drink that, believe it or not, anymore. Yeah. Um, look, and, and did you, you met Louise in a pub, is that right? You met Louise <laughs> in a pub? Oh, that, Louise, we sound terrible, don't we? <laughs> yeah. 
that's how we first met, and then we became. Yeah, we did meet. Yep. The 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 Louise, your 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 yeah. house. You you when 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 I heard about you 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 guys were coming on today, I said your house sounds like you know one of my favorite films. And Donnie will tell you my favorite film is The Holiday. You know when. Oh. When she go, when when uh, is it Kate Winslet? Oh no, she goes out and it's Cameron, Cameron, Diaz. Cameron Diaz comes to the little cottage, and it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So I'm assuming you have a Jude Law sort of. I was going to say, where's Jude Law? <laughs> exactly. Yes, where is, is that... Jude Law? That would be nice. Well, I'm <laughs> sure he's just around. I'm sure he's yes, around the corner. Yes, but it's somewhere. not finished. See, there's wires. It's... It's not no, it's not Christmas yet, but it sounds so so. It sounds so pretty. Okay, onto the onto the burgers, right? So one here. So we're gonna I'm gonna sprinkle um, salt and pepper in here on the plate. On the plate. Okay. And then I'm gonna oh. I'm I'm doing this. You can do it in any way you want to. And then what I want to do, look. So if you can see that, so I'm just going to. Do that and do that. So that really makes a nice even amount of seasoning. Okay. Um, can we get me another plate, please? And then we want to make it into that pate. We want to make it into that lovely burger shape. And you're literally sort of just pressing like it in between your hands like that. And you've got great seasoning on there now because you've got it really even. And then we're just really just making it a lovely, lovely book shape. And if you've got super mints, which I'm sure you have, it would all look absolutely gorgeous. And I think that's about the right size, don't you? Don't you think so? So there's one patty or one burger. And you can spread it out a bit. And then I've got my other one here. I've got enough seasoning, I think. And I'm going to roll it right around like that. And then we can mix it around, make sure it's all even. And then we make our. That's make a really our, good idea to do it that way. Yeah, it's just a very easy way. Otherwise, you put them in a bowl. I mean, you can do it all kinds of ways. As long as you get an even spread. And now we want to press out and just make your burgers really, really nice. And, you know, when I was away in, in Greece, if you saw any of those bits and pieces that I did, oh, it's all it's about. But, Everything has come back to beautiful produce. You know, the better the mm -hmm. produce, if you've got a farm shop, I'm sure you have in Devon, you'll probably have farm shops all over there. You know, great butter, great milk, great cream. And I mean, imagine cotton yeah. cream, God, you could do that all day oh, long. Like <laughs> um, but you know, but super vegetables and lovely meat and support your local farm shops. Much better, and I have no problem with the supermarkets, but so much better than the supermarkets. Absolutely. And it costs a bit more, but the quality of the food and everything on this table, apart from the buns, has come from the farm shop. Wow. Well, everything on my table has come, from, apart from the chutney, has come from the farm shop. Yeah, lovely. Oh, that's great. Don't you okay. think, though, in the whole lockdown, it, that's where, so around here we have loads and loads of lovely farm shops as well we're in Sussex in East Sussex and yeah. um, actually not a million miles from I know Donna went down to Hastings just before you went away but um, the farm shops are fantastic and in lockdown they were a godsend yeah oh yeah yes Our exactly. Sorts. exactly because you know saying, you couldn't get you couldn't get an online delivery you couldn't get yeah. into Wendrose and they were so busy our farm shop was Excuse packed me. it was amazing yeah they were just flat out. They were just doing such an, a roaring trade. And I loved it. Yeah, absolutely. It was really good, actually, for all the local, yeah, local places. How are your paddies looking? Oh, good. We're looking Very good. Nice. Very nice, girls. And the Look other thing, the other thing that you can. Yours is looking quite thick, Louise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Louise, how thick? They're mine. <laughs> How oh. thick are yours? Because it's just how long they're going to cook. You don't want it's them too rare. It's going to take a long time. Is that one? That's one. That's, That's a big old up. beast. How, push, how, how much? Push it a bit flatter. Yeah. Bit how, flatter. How, what weight have you got there? Did you weigh it, Louise? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Squish him down. No, she didn't. Squish. She's, she's squish. got 500 grams there. I'm quickly squishing. Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, if you've got really good mints, you know, the thing yeah. is, it depends how you want them cooked. Donna actually, although she's not eating, likes them cooked quite well, quite well cooked through. I, I don't mind them being a bit, but if you've got really good mints, then it doesn't matter if you have them a bit rarer. The, yeah. the problem with burgers years ago was the, the meat was so terrible that you couldn't ever have them, you know, undercooked. And there's a big thing still in London that, you know, if you're having a burger, it's got to be cooked through. It's a bit like all other meat. So, oh, um, Westminster City Council. Pardon? Isn't it? Westminster. They, they don't let the restaurant. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah, 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 yeah. You, well, they, no, you have to have your... You so can't annoying. Have your, you can't have all kinds of things. And if you have liver, you know, if you had calf liver, it's yeah. got to be cooked through like leather, which is ridiculous, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, well, it was yeah. just there was a problem once and somebody got you know, food poisoning, bang, everyone. Okay, are we all done? We are. Yes. Are we ready for, we're ready for cooking? Yeah. Because if I, I'll take, what I'm, I'm going to take you, do, I'm going to take my arms, he's going to go, I'm going to, we're going to go over here. We're going to go over grill. here. You can put it on those cooking stations, don't you? Think? No, because you, girls want to be able to see the grill. All right, okay. You can see the grill, right? We need the girls yes. to see the grill. Thank you. All righty, yeah. so are you. Okay. Okay. Yep, we're good. Can you just can you see everything, girls, from there? We could get yeah. closer, actually. It's no, quite no, no, nice no. if they get closer. I think that we could burn the camera. Don't burn the camera, Tazza. Right. Yes. How's that, girls? Right. Good. Okay. So this is my griddle here. So you're just going to see my hands and no head, but this is my griddle. It's That's probably, actually what he's worried about. Probably, he wants you to see his head. It's probably <laughs> no, it's probably not a bad view. So I've got what I've got here is a little pixie pot. And I'm just going to put a little bit of, you can see how hot it is, but I just want to just put some oil on okay. just to get myself ready. I don't need lots of oil on, but I just like a little dusting. You could do this in a fry pan as well. Just make sure your fry pan gets super, super hot. And that way yeah. it's just going to, because there's going to be a lot of, there's fat obviously in the, in the meat. Right. And that's my little pizza. Right. And we're going to put some bacon on as well. Now, the other thing to do is just get all your utensils ready so you're ready to go. So I've got a couple of slices here. I need one, I think. And I've got a plate here, which I'm going to put my burgers on. And I've got another plate here. I might put my own on because I'm going to get everything ready. And if I need to do a little bit of flashing or a little bit of heating, I can redo that. So you're not running around. Everything's where you need it, you know? Perfect. So first thing first, we're going to start cooking, of course, are the burgers, because they're going to take the longest. So are we ready to go? Yeah, yeah, we ready. are. Okay. So I'm going to put two on. And this particular griddle, this one's a bit, this end is a bit slower than that end. I don't know why, but so I put the burgers at this end. But the other two, the other two parts of your this will be the onions will take a bit longer. We want, to get those, we want to get those caramelized. So oh, I'll okay. put the onions there. So they're the two bits and pieces we get underway first. How are we doing? I'm okay. just gonna... Everything good? Oh, it smells good already. So good, right? Oh. Well, we be able to hear over the sizzle. <laughs> you can hear what? Can you hear over the sizzle? <laughs> <laughs> There's a treble sizzle going on. So, Donna, yes? you know my friend Charlotte from Kitsch really well, don't you? Oh, yes, I do. Your friend is Charlotte. Yeah. I'm so, I'm so glad she's back. Oh, uh, it's so nice. I really want to see her, but I know she had to quarantine for a couple of weeks, but I think she's back in the shop now. And, oh, she um, had to quarantine. Did she have quarantine, did she? Yeah, yeah. But now she's back. She's back for good, I think, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Now, so nice. I like to put a dash of salt on the onion. That'll oh, just okay. bring all the sweetness out of the onion, won't it? Because the salt, the salt makes vegetables bleed. And it will just bring out a little bit more, and when we turn them over, it should just crisp, uh, caramelize in a dash more. Mm -hmm. So all it is now is have a quick drink. 
<laughs> I like this cooking. <laughs> You're gonna, and in a minute, then girls, you need to put your bacon on. Oh yeah. So now oh. we're gonna put. I'm gonna put four pieces of bacon on. Okay. One. Two. Three. So everything's looking good, everything's happy. We can tell in a minute how, how they're cooking. We want them to be brown, not black. And I think we'll probably turn those over now. Lovely. They look amazing. I would move, the, I would move them to the back. Yep. I'd move the onions, I'd move the onions to the front. I'm gonna put these here first. Oh, these are good. Yeah, that's the hot so, Donnie just told me that the hottest bit of my grill is so, actually the front. Yeah, the hottest bit on this grill is at the front and the coolest is at the back. So you'll just get to know where the sort of hottest bit is. Okay. But I always start on the hot bit and then you want to move the onions to the really hot bit, get them going. And then actually once you've got the burger really hot like that, you can then move it to the back and it's just going to sit there because then you're going to put the cheese on there, then you're yeah. going to put the bacon on there. So once you get that brown, you want to move it to the back or move it to a cooler <laughs> section. How's it all going? Everything cooking? All good. Hi, Commando. Yes, well, I've got two saucepans, so uh, two frying pans. What are you, have you, what are you got? You see, I am using yeah. a griddle pan for the burgers and the onions, and I put the bacon under the grill, like the pop-up oven grill. Oh, yeah, good idea. Yeah, you can do that. That's perfect. Yep. I'm just turning over my bacon. I would move the bacon as well. To the bacon. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is so nice. Louise used to live, she used to live two minutes from here, and she moved to Devon last last um, autumn, and so she doesn't really come back very often. So it's really nice to, to see her. Oh, so nice! That's so nice. Have you guys been FaceTime a lot during lockdown? We've no, done a few Zoom, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. We've done a few, but um, yeah, it's been a, it's been a hard one moving to the middle of the moors down in Devon. And being in lockdown must have been really difficult. It was yeah. horrible. Yeah. It's a bit, I mean, <laughs> when they're on, when they're on Zooming, it's a bit tricky to hear everything going on, but the fans going and everything else. But it's, how's it all going? <laughs> everything going. Good. Louise, you just seem to be yeah. continually drinking, which is perfect. That's Sorry, my life. Oh, that's Caroline. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, God, yeah, that's me. That's me. <laughs> well, you both seem to be continually drinking, right. <laughs> so I'm just going to flick those over again and I think it's time to cheese. Yep. So I've done my, I've flicked this over again and I'm now going to put two pieces of cheese on. So girls, are you ready for the cheese? How's it all going? Oh, what, what are you doing now? Oh, I'm doing two bits of cheese. So the cheese now has to go onto the burger. Yeah. Okay. Your, burger, your, actual, your actual patty, your burger patty should be quite cooked. And so now you add the cheese on, there's cheese slices. And girls, did you see the way here? Did you see the way we put them on? So you crisscross them, you get the melted cheese covers the edges of the burger. Yeah? Yeah. My bacon here, I'm going to put my bacon. So then, um, and then what we also do is, not to rush you, the bacon's nearly cooked and the onions are cooking here. Now the, now the buns are going to go on the back. Okay. So then, then now, we I'm going to put. Four buns on here, so I wanted I, this gorgeous juice of the uh, of the bacon and everything else we've got because it's all rolling in one beautifully now. So my bacon's here, my buns are here, my cheese is here, my tomatoes over there, my my other bits and pieces are over the other side. How's it all going? The girls are scrambling. <laughs> yeah, all going well. <laughs> <laughs> And it's then, so lovely. And then what we do is, then after the... Oh, yeah, in, in a minute. What, darling? 
very unprofessional. It looks great. It looks fabulous, Louise. You're doing a super job. It looks pretty bad. And then the next thing after this, that bacon is then going to get plopped onto the cheese. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, because otherwise it's going to get too cooked. Wasn't it? So the bacon goes on now. Not mine yet. No, okay, don't worry. That's all right. So now we've got the fantastic bacon, the great cheese, the gorgeous burgers. I've got my buns in the back. They're ready. And because these are brioche, you have butter in the brioche, remember. It will cook quicker. They will brown quicker than yours. And also the good thing about putting the bacon on there <laughs> is you're kind of taking the bacon away from the heat and putting it up there. So you've got the the burger, the burger patty, the beef patty, the cheese, then the bacon. So it's just by putting it up there, instead of protecting it on that grill, they need it. So it's I've got tears off. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we're going to put these on, on the plate here. Yeah. But my two burgers are now ready. I'm just waiting for. Just take that for a minute. We'll leave those onions a bit. Yeah. And you cut you cut the fat off your burgers, didn't you? Pardon? You cut the fat off your burgers, didn't you? Bacon. Uh, no, uh, no, I cut the fat off the bacon. Bacon. Oh, sorry, the, the bacon, sorry. Yeah. See, all that, all that alcohol. <laughs> oh, that's the hot Yes. Okay. You move it to the closet. Okay. Ah, that's what I'm trying to get. There we are. There's my bun. So I want to bring that back. Donna but uses this for a super duper grill. Sorry, darling. You You've got a super duper grill. It, yeah. It's really good. This I use this all the time. It's amazing. It's like him telling Bobby does a what where all the hot bits are, because um, he doesn't use this as much as I do. This is so good. Just I cook loads of stuff on it. Donna uses this yeah. much more than me. It kind of does a lot. Next so, time, next next cooker you get, get a grill in the middle. So what <laughs> what make is your oven? It's a snake. This is a hey. snake, and so it has yeah. So you've got like six cooker. Cookers, cookers, what do you call yeah, these? Rings. Six rings and then that in the middle. It's really handy. Yeah. I think um we've all had total kitchen envy through lockdown of your thermomix and your 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 oven. <laughs> we I made I made the mayonnaise and the thermomix today. Literally one one minute thirty seconds done. Under under two minutes and you got amazing mayonnaise. Amazing. And all it was is an egg, an egg, some um, vinegar, all of uh, um, sunflower oil, and um, and uh, French mustard. Wow! And um, one of my one of my really dear friends, but also one of uh, you know an amazing chef, Theo Randall, at home. He has uh, a fantastic. He has a smeg as well, which I was super pleased about. Yeah. And they're not the most expensive of all ranges, but what he, he doesn't have is this. So. Do you remember, have you ever seen this tap above my yes. above the, uh, yeah. which is such a great idea. Now, girls, you should have, in a sort of chefing way, I'm going to take my onions off now. Okay. So you should have, it, sh it should look a bit like, so there's my, all my, my burger, my onions, all done, ready to go with my bacon okay. on top. And there are my buns all just toasted. Okay. So I'm going to now bring you over here and we're going to start to assemble. How are we doing? Yeah, I'm fine. Are we okay? All right. Yeah. Right. Could you just yeah. bring this over? We're going to. Okay, girls. Just bring this over. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, girls. Here we go. Right. So. Okay, my loves. Can you see that? Is Let that, me just hold yeah, like, um, okay. Can you can you see that, girls? You're you're good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's quite good. You can see everything. Is that yeah. good? I can go here for you, my love. Yep. Right. I think you can see. So yeah. now it's an assemble time. So we want the base of our our buns, two base buns. Yeah. When we're going to put our tomato chutney on. So this is our amazing tomato chutney. And if any of you have ever seen this, you can have a look on the on my highlights, how to make this. And it's absolutely amazing. 
even though I say so myself. I'm glad, Caroline, that you make your own. That's so good. Seriously, I think um, I love cooking anyway, but I think Dazzler's got, seriously, there are two best things out of lockdown. Dazzler yeah. and you oh. and um, my Pilates teacher going on Zoom. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Well, my so best good. things. Ca Caroline's Pilates teacher going on Zoom. So you oh, two right. and the Pilates teacher. <laughs> Oh, fantastic. So nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on. Now, we're okay. going to put, we put onion eggs, don't we? No. We put burger eggs. We put burger and then the onion. And then we'll do that. Okay. Yeah. We can do it, you can do it. Either way. Right, so burger next. So then you've got girls, so you've got the burger, cheese, bacon, right? Yep. So you put that yep. on. Then the onion. And then this fantastic onion that is charred and just beautiful. God, I wish I was eating this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This just... Just leave that in. Yeah. 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 There's your two rings. There's your two rings. Yeah. Okay. There's your two burgers there. Mm -hmm. Then we've got our tomato. How's your building going? It's looking good. Let's just take these out of the way. Let's just see how Caroline's is going. Getting, getting there. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Look at you, Louise. Okay. Now. We put mayonnaise in the hat. Should we show, um, We're gonna put should we show the girls up oh, close? Yeah, yeah. How you, we can you see on? where we've got to? Can you see yeah. where we are? Yeah. So now we put mayonnaise on here. On, on Not what? Crazy amounts. Yeah. Just enough that we want to put the lettuce so it stays there. And you yes. can have as much on as you want. The, I don't well, think we want a big one. one. We, yeah, but That's we, the one. Yeah, but not so, so big because we don't want the hat to cover it over like yeah. that, baby. Well, I think one. look for a flatter one. one. Look for flatter ones. Yeah, are. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You like Caroline's ones. Right. Caroline, you've got the nicest lettuce. Okay, right. And then. Because that hat's going to cover I, I quite like the cover. All right. Okay, well, we'll put that one there. There we are. Go on there like that. So, there's that one. And there. Are you, sorry, were you mayo first, then lettuce on your. Mayo, on your mayo, mayo first, and then you stick the lettuce to the mayo on the bun. So, so the mayo goes on mayo the top. Mayo goes on the bun. On the top, on, on the, the bun. Top. Okay. So you got, the, you got the mayo on the lit on the top of the bun. Let me just um actually let me put so you can see. Do do do. Okay, here I am. Do you like the way I even put makeup on? Sorry, I wish I did. Seriously, um, you look amazing all the time. I've got to buy one of those hair those hair things. Oh my you... god, the Revlon One oh. Step. Oh, so girls, amazing. while you're doing it. So the bottom, so you got the bottom bun, then you've got the chutney, right? Then you've got the then you've got the burger with the cheese on it, then the bacon, then the onion, then the tomato, then the lettuce, and there's the um mayonnaise on the top of the bun. Sorry, darling. Absolutely massive. Look. Oh my god, look, let's oh my they look amazing. <laughs> Look at the I've seen in a long time. They look so good. So, right, here you go. The look, girls. I put a bit oh, of decor on mine just yes. to finish it off. But oh, yours how looks better. cool. I hope we can take pictures of this. Oh, let me go take pictures. Hang on, Donnie's going to take a picture somehow. Take a picture of all. <laughs> oh, we've got Eddie going now. Everyone's getting it. It's all going back to normal. No, it's us with our backs, Lou. I'll get some photos for you. Done it. I think it'll all be on Zoom. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, my lid's falling off. Hang on. Oh my god, it's all going it's on, girls. Amazing. Oh my god, look Take at you. Picture. They look Take so good. Let me get the girls. Okay, Caroline, let me see yours, darling. Okay, where's yours? Okay, I got Louise. Caroline, let me see yours. <laughs> oh. Caroline, where's yours? Caroline. Oh, there you are. Okay, let me get a photo of you. It's just right darling. in the middle. I uh, love it. It looks so good. Okay, well, I, I can't believe we did it. Can you get hold of it? <laughs> um, 
I have to call my son to say hello to you before you of go anywhere, does it? Is that Christian? Is it Christian? Yes, it is. Christian. Just quickly. Let, get me get, let me get another photo of you. Uh, let me get another photo of you. Oh, lovely. With your bird. Oh, that's okay. You don't have to hold it. Oh, you just go like that. That's fine, Jasmine. Hold on. He's just going to come and say hi. Let me go like this. You can say hello as well. Come on. This oh. is Olivia, who thinks you're wonderful. Hello, Olivia. This is Christian. Hi. Hi, Christian. Olivia's Hi. very impressed with Mummy's Donna Ida deliveries that come. And oh, Christian's I love it. Uh, you have to message me on Instagram, Caroline, so I know which one you are. I will do. I will. Christian, chat. Chat. Christian what, what, what's your next dish you're going to cook? Um... I'll do burger snacks. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. Burgers. Look Definitely. at these. Yeah, the they look great. Well, try try your mum's one. I mean, they I mean, they all they all look amazing. <laughs> and uh, oh, Louise, those, no are, those, those are going to keep you going for a while. Those. <laughs> <laughs> you better take them next door. Everyone's going to be desperate to eat them now. Yeah, I'm getting, I know. You can take them. Go on. Go on. You can take them. <laughs> and Christian, you made the, you made the sausage rolls, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, they look, I, I saw the picture of them. They look so good. It's lovely when people, you know, this has been a great fun um, period for me because obviously I'm, I'm a chef, and um, and uh, uh, and through this period, I just had this time to just go back to look at you know how I used to cook and all the things, and then. I just found my love for food again, you know, which was amazing. And now I've started to cook. And when I get uh, pictures of what you've cooked and all that from everybody, it's been so nice. And uh, Instagram is such an amazing uh, platform, you know, for people to, yeah. to communicate, you know. So I think, um, I, I hope, I, I think we're there. We know I said, I'm, I'm going to eat my burgers. <laughs> you, you've got your burgers to eat. Yep. I wish we were all together. That would be the nicest one. I know. Sarah just said that's great. Cool. You've got the wrong one. Pick him up. I know. Okay. okay we got, Thank you. All right. Well, we're Thanks going to say cheerio much. because the dogs are going crazy. Thank you so much. That was Thank really you good fun. So much. And thanks really so much lovely. for supporting the Oracle Cancer Trust, which is the most important thing out of all this. Yes. Oh, thank Bye, you. girls. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Let me know what Bye. they're like. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.